of the particular problem, what we see when we try to use henna is that you will be probably required to use some of the advanced features and most of the time you will be working with logical containers. As probably many of you know that we would be spending more time in creating calculation view than really creating the tables and trying to put data. So most of the developers who are either from UI background or trying to create applications are confused when it comes to real projects and it takes a lot of time for them to understand this properly and when it matters like when you are doing the actual project and you are being built and you are sitting in the customer side you cannot afford to lose time to learn those techniques or those basic principle which is required to development so binandan can you tell me exactly why someone who is a developer architect or a team lead should take this hena advanced and professional course and what is special in this v2 of the course ajay one problem which i faced while developing a logical containers in hena is that i had to read a lot of reference guide and a different a website where all the information is given but they were only a bits of piece of, of information but i didn't find all the information which i need to create my calculation view or an attribute view or analytical view i didn't get it in a single place so also on top of it you need to understand where to use what that is also one of the biggest challenge correct yes yes that 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 is there so i want to know what are the characteristics of all those views and when to use those views and in what situation you have to use so those topics i have covered in this video courses exactly so i think when it comes to going in details you would not only require to understand how to perform those but in which places i need to go for what because you might go and just use attribute view you might be complicating if you are going for calculation view and if you are using attribute view in a place where performance is required not by not using calculation view then you are losing performance and many times i have seen application developers doing that mistake and from the api side they end up performing in action in a much larger time which can result into the entire project getting like you no know, removed or discarded so this is one of the critical factor is knowing the performance aspect the logical containers is a part where you can drastically improve the api querying time and where you or how you perform those activity so you get the maximum performance out of your application as well now one question i will ask that the main problem at this point is the bits and pieces are everywhere and people has to use their own time and their own memory power or brain power to really kind of combine all this together and put it in a project so how you are trying to fix that issue here so the thing is there are many bits and pieces which we have to perform in our views like if you want to create a calculated column how you are going to create the calculated column so i had to go to a different place and i have to learn those topics and i have to do in my view but uh, likewise there is uh, input variables and i can use the input variables to filter the records and so those kinds of bits of pieces is there and in my video course and i am completely covering all those step by step procedure on how to use those features like a calculated column or a input variables or filtering the columns of a table and joining the tables in a view so those kinds of operation i have completely covered i think one of the important aspect is we keep the example same and try to cover all these things building up the difficulty level so when you are in the project you can correlate things and use less of your time to really look for the ways and trying to go through number of videos in youtube or other blogs it's better to have access to this one course hena sql advanced and professional development and i will recommend this for anyone who is beginner intermediate or is already doing development with hena from a long time they can obviously learn something new because we have covered the basic pre well and also the advanced stuff 
in a very detailed and step-by-step -step manner. So all the people who will be touching HANA development now or somewhere in their career, I will highly recommend this course and you should enroll in this course and get advantage by knowing how to do things properly in a detailed manner and stop wasting your time reading a lot of stuff which will confuse you. So join our course HANA SQL Professional in Advance and we will be seeing you in this course. My name is Ajay Naik. And myself Abhinandan. And we will both be seeing you in this course.